This is a poem that I, uh, I find, <clears throat> although some complain about obscurity in contemporary poetry, this seems to, to be a poem that anyone over 30 has an immediate grasp of and anyone over 40 or 50 has an intense uh, fondness for. It's called Forgetfulness. <laughs> and um, it begins by describing uh, what one author called literary amnesia, which is that uh, realization uh, that uh, you have forgotten everything that you ever read. It is uh, a kind of feeling that the mind is this small, unfurnished apartment. Um, forgetfulness. The name of the author is the first to go, followed obediently by the title, the plot, the heartbreaking conclusion, the entire novel which suddenly becomes one you have never read, never even heard of. <laughs> It is as if, one by one, the memories you used to harbor decided to retire to the southern hemisphere of the brain, to a little fishing village where there are no phones. <laughs> Long ago, you kissed the names of the nine muses goodbye, and you watched the quadratic equation pack its bag. And even now, as you memorize the order of the planets, something else is slipping away, a state flower, perhaps, <laughs> the address of an uncle, the capital of Paraguay. <laughs> Whatever it is you are struggling to remember, it is not poised on the tip of your tongue, not even lurking in some obscure corner of your spleen. It has floated away down a dark mythological river whose name begins with an L, as far as you can recall. <laughs> well, on your own way to oblivion, where you will join those who have even forgotten how to swim and how to ride a bicycle. No wonder you rise in the middle of the night to look up the date of a famous battle in a book on war. No wonder the moon in the window seems to have drifted out of a love poem that you used to know by heart. Thank you. Thank you.